we've got a new tarantula. Hello and welcome to Elliot's Exotics. My name's Jack and if you like videos on tarantula snakes and more, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Also, check out my Instagram page, at Elliot's underscore exotics. Let's get into the video. For those of you who do have a good eye, yes, I have had a haircut. I think it looks a lot better than the top knot that I had. I think it looks a lot better, especially coming into the summer, trim my beard as well. But we do have a new tarantula, and that is the Carabina Versicolor, or the Antilles Pink Toe. I'm really excited that we've got another one of these. So I had one before, and if you didn't see me getting that and rehousing it, I had a bit of a hard time trying to play around with that one. So check up there, I'll put a card up to you so you can see me dealing with the first one. Unfortunately, it did pass away not too long ago, and I don't know if that's just because it was such a small sling. Sometimes these things happen, um, you know. But I've got another one, Hopefully we can give it a much better setup because it's not a sling. It's more of a juvenile stage So I'm, I'm really excited to get this this they look so cool these tarantulas start off blue and Then they will turn when they're older into like a purple greeny pink It just look they look so cool. These are not a new world tarantula. These are an old world arboreal tarantulas so if you are thinking about getting a old world tarantula i highly recommend these guys these guys are so cool if it was to bite you they do have moderate venom so it would be a little painful but it wouldn't do too much damage at all i'm gonna get him out in a second but first of all we've got to sort out his enclosure so the enclosure i'm gonna be sticking it into is this little exoterra this is a 20 by 20 by 30 exoterra I've got this from Facebook Marketplace. So let's get the enclosure ready and stick him in there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick in the cork tile. This is the background for it. You've seen me put some of these into somewhat other enclosures such as Miss Bronson um, and a few others. Uh, I prefer using these, these are so much better cork tiles. These are from Zoomid. So the next thing we're gonna stick in is the soil. This soil is not like the last stuff I was using in Miss Bronson's enclosure. This soil is Cresty Life. Don't need too much in here. As long as the back's stable, I'm happy. This species of tarantula does not need too much soil as it is an arboreal, so that means it's a, it's a climber, so it lives up in the trees, and that's where they make their web. Next thing we do is we're gonna put some logs in, and I'd like to pack this out so it looks as naturalistic as possible full of like trees, branches, things like that. First thing I'm gonna do is stick a little cork tube in there so it can hide if it wants to. Pack that out the back. What I do have as well is I've got some twigs so it has some anchor points to web up to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and just put this in so it looks like they're holding up. So the tarantula will just web off these. So what I'm, what I'm trying to create here is like mini trees. Hopefully it looks like that. Maybe go for something like this. And then this funky little piece here. What I'm gonna do is just here, because I'm in this little hole, I'm going to stick this small little Plant. So let's get that out, tease the roots. I'm hoping that this does grow in here. So let's put this straight in and hopefully the tarantula doesn't destroy it. If it does, hopefully not too much. So let's cover that soil. Put some more soil at the back. I'll just chuck low soil down the back of my desk. Let's give this plant some water. Just so it kick start it in the right direction. Hopefully the tarantula doesn't destroy it too much. And then a little water dish. Perfect. What I'm also gonna do 
is I'm going to stick in some sphagnum moss. I've put some sphagnum moss here. The reason I've done that is because this tarantula is Caribbean, it does like a bit more humidity in its environment, and I'm hoping that it will just help give the plants a bit more to thrive off. So I think that there is done. I'm liking the look of that enclosure. Just gonna give it a mist. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this, how this species just webs up the top. Cause what I'm hoping for is it will make like a hammock around here and it will use this tube that we put up here as like a nice little home. So let's, without further ado, let's, let's get it in there. Right, we have the tarantula. I've learnt my lesson now. Catch cup. And I've got my spider stick, my trusty spider stick. This here is just so I don't get bit and the tarantula doesn't hurt its fangs. You can probably see some of the fang marks it's got onto here. Yeah, you can see some of the fang marks. Right, a bit nervous. So I don't want it to run around like the last one. These are very, very fast. So let's, let's, let's get this in, let's hopefully this goes well. And I've also got my grass as well. Right, let's get it in there. I'm hoping it doesn't sprint away straight away. Oh my God, the web is so strong. Before I get it in, look at that. Now that's a beautiful tarantula. Let me know in the comments guys what you think of that and what we should name it as well. Let's get it in there. Please don't sprint off. No, 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 oh my god. <laughs> this is why we have a catch cup. Come on. Look at the colours on that. I'm hoping this tea will just thrive in here. What we'll do is we'll check up in a few days and I'll keep it posted. I'll do a whole I'll do a video to see how it's doing. And I'm hoping that we this one just thrives. It looks quite nice up there. I like it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, seeing the tarantula escaping and get to see a nice enclosure get built. So let me know what you guys think of the enclosure. I thought it was quite nice. I thought it was a bit more naturalistic than uh, some of the other ones. But I think with each enclosure comes a better idea and a better outcome with each enclosure. As I said, the Versi colour is such an amazing species to keep. If you haven't got one, make sure you get one uh, because you just, you can't beat them. You can't beat them. They're incredible. And it's amazing to see them go from a little blue tarantula to green, red, purple, and blue. It is, they're just so good. And if you are thinking of keeping an old world species, Versicolor is definitely the one to go for first. I highly recommend it. They're so easy to keep. So thank you again for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.